Oh, hey, Kyler. Yeah, Gary? Oh, I've been working out lately. Oh, really? Well, you should show me your moves. Oh, I certainly will. But first, here's your industry news. Fable creator Peter Molyneux told IGN via Game Industry International not to underestimate Nintendo. The Wii U sales have not been as high as Nintendo had predicted, but that doesn't mean the company is doomed. Molyneux said, they're probably one hardware release away from something that utterly convinces us that, that they know exactly what the future of games should be. Since the Wii U launched in November 2012, it has sold a tepid 5.8 million, million units worldwide. However, high-profile first-party games such as Mario Kart 8 and Super Smash Bros. are right around the corner and may be the boost Nintendo needs to sell more systems. Molyneux continued, The problem that with Nintendo is they, do, is they did a fantastic job a find, a fantastic job of finding those millions of new players with the Wii. And the Wii U kind of does that, but tries to bring in existing gamers as well. So they may have lost their way a bit, but they're super smart people. And if there's one thing I have learned over the years, is to never under underestimate Nintendo. I mean, if they survive the Virtual Boy, they can survive this. Viva la France! Yes, it looks like Ubisoft might be playing it close to home as leaked screenshots of one of the upcoming Assassin's Creed games seems to indicate that the game, codenamed Unity, will take place in revolutionary France. The screenshots show off an assassin in a blue assassin's robe with red detailing and coattails moving around 18th century Paris with famous Parisian landmarks such as Notre Dame and the Seine River in the background. All these screenshots seem to vindicate earlier rumors that had floated around about Unity being set in Paris during the French Revolution. If these rumors are true, they also state that the protagonist's name is Arno, that multiplayer now be focused on four-player co-op, which was introduced in Black Flag, and that uh, the AC games uh, that the AC of the AC game rumored Unity will be for Generation 8 consoles such as the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 only. Ubisoft, however, has stated that they will refuse to keep refusing to comment on rumors, so we're going to have to wait and see what comes up. What's an easy way to revamp your characters to make them hip again and explain away years of canon and make tons of money? I mean, breathe life into a beloved franchise. Well, you make it take place in a parallel universe, of course. That's how Sega describes the new Sonic Boom which will be complete with its own cartoon series, children's toys, and two video games for Nintendo Wii U and 3DS respectively. Fortunately, Sonic Boom won't replace the existing Sonic, which is good for fans that are apprehensive of the new style and Knuckles' implied steroid use. Sonic Boom will serve as a complement to the existing universe in the same way Mega Man Legends complements Mega Man. Bob Raffi, from Big Red Button, assembled a team of industry veterans from companies such as Naughty Dog, Heavy Iron, and High Impact Games to create this new look and new world for a world-famous character. The game is slated for some time in 2014. For the third year in a row, Electronic Arts is in the running for the consumerist worst company of the year. For the rest of this story, you can purchase the Industry News DLC. Thank you. Now, EA has won this award, I say won with air quotes, the last two years in a row, and they're in the running for a three-peat thanks to the buggy broken release that was Battlefield 4, which, as you may recall, spawned multiple class action lawsuits and an investigation by the Security and Exchange Commission of EA's board members. EA is going up against companies such as Monsanto, Time Warner Cable, and AT&T, a wonderful group to be in league with. The voting began on March 19th, and an end date hasn't been announced. No. Whether you were sad to see Flappy Bird taken down, or relieved that you wouldn't be wasting hours of your life playing it, the decision by the creator, Don Wynn, to remove the mobile game from the app stores in February shook the internet. If you miss Flappy Bird, you may be in luck. Wynn recently tweeted that the massively addictive game will be back, but not soon. When he was interviewed by Rolling Stones earlier this month, he said that if Flappy Bird were to return, it would feature a warning message that the game is addictive. Okay. <laughs> he is also working on three new games, one of which will launch later this month. And with names such as Kitty Jetpack, those who are hungering for Flappy Birds may get their fix soon. 
2014 is shaping up to be the year of virtual reality with Oculus Rift and Omnidirectional Treadmill, among others, being featured prominently at conventions already. Now, Sony has announced it's throwing its hat into the virtual reality ring with the announcement of Project Morpheus, its own full immersion system that you wear on your head. Sony Computer Entertainment President uh, Shuhei Yoshida has said, at Sony Computer Entertainment, we view innovation as an opportunity to build on our mission to push the boundaries of play. Project Morpheus is the latest example of innovation from SCE, and we're looking forward to its continued development and the games that will be created as development kits get into the hands of content creators. Project Morpheus, much like the similar Oculus Rift, allows players to have a 360-degree field of vision uh, with its headset and interacts with the PlayStation 4's cameras to track player motion while character movement is controlled by the PS4 controller. While no release day has been announced, it is, probably, it is probable that it won't come out in 2014, so we're just going to have to keep an eye out. So that was your industry news. So now will you show me your moves? All right. Welcome, punch! <laughs>